Like you're doing something with kombucha. What are you doing with kombucha? We're going to do our second fermentation. Oh. And the flavoring. Fermentation so look and at flavoring. This, look at this. Look at the scoby. Nice. And if I turn it this way, you can actually, you can see the layers. So, it's so cool. are those the scoby children? No, they're on, the, well, yeah, I guess they are. I don't know. There's the original ones on the bottom still. But we're ready for the it's second hard, fermentation. It's hard to see it. There's the... So what I've done so far... Scoot over this way. Is... I'll back myself into a corner. We have to save some of the starter. And uh, so that way we can do another batch. Because I'm pretty sure that's going to go by pretty quick. So I'm going to do another batch. Today. What's going to go by pretty quick? What we're doing. What are we doing? We're doing the second fermentation and the flavoring. Okay. So what do we got? So in these bottles, we're doing a basil and a mint. Basil and mint. So I need to know how much to put in. I'm just putting some in there. That mint's pretty strong, so I only did two leaves per, and I think I did like four leaves of basil. Damn window. Sorry, everybody. We can't. Lighting in the crap shack sucks. You know, what's this stuff? And this stuff is the thimble juice that you made. Thimble juice? Thimble, thimble berry juice, thimble sorry. Thimble berry juice. Thimble berry juice, and I did three tablespoons. Ah. We'll just see how it tastes. Cool. Yeah, right? Yeah. I don't know how much this is going to make, so we have to take some of your starter out. So we got four cups of starter in here, so we can do another batch. And then what do you do with that starter? Where do you put it? It'll go back in there. Oh, okay. Once I'm ready to make a new Back batch. Back in there? Yep, once I'm ready to make a new batch. So now what I'm going to do is... So, until you make a new batch, where does it go? I'm going to make a new batch today. Oh, okay. So we can get a second a second batch going right okay. away. And so I'm going to dispense this into the bottles. And hopefully we have enough for eight bottles. If maybe I might have to do another one or two bottles. Okay. If we have extra. I didn't know what to do, so I'm guessing. We'll get cracking then, Turbo. Get cracking then. Bum 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 bum. Mint and basil. I think this, that'll be good. This is the stuff I want right here. The thimbleberry. You betcha. Goose, goose. What are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna make me spill. This is what it's like living with a puppy boar bull. <laughs> he's he's imprinted on us pretty well. <laughs> he has to be everywhere you are, all the time. Probably the measuring cup would be better next time. I'm trying to do it this way. I have a solution though. You do? To your challenge, yeah. Don't overfill it. <laughs> oh! You whoa. Okay, what's your solution? Here. Let's watch what Stuart does. Hold the, hold the bottle. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on! You ready? Oh, you've got it up a little bit, so I don't have to, you don't have to keep lifting it. Yep. Duh. I'm not as graceful. I'd end up dropping it all over. Uh oh. Are we running out? Whoa, don't overfill it. Whoa! A little bit more. Why not? There you go. Now what do you do? Now put the caps on. Oh, you want me to do this? Oh yeah, we changed camera or we changed, so. You changed? I didn't change. You didn't change? You're disgusting. How do these work? Just like the first one. I got lucky on the first one. So it's like two to 14 days. And you're supposed to like open them and... Can you shake them? No, 
you don't definitely don't want to do that because it starts carbonizing. So you want to open them like carbonizing, carbonizing or carbonating. Carbonating, yes, that's it. So you want to open them a couple times a day to let the gases out. I guess they might explode or something if you don't. Especially you know if you open it. We need a sacrificial bottle. No. No. We need something sacrificial, sacrificial, to see if we can get it to blow up. No. And, and we'll shake it every day, and we'll do whatever, let the <laughs> carbonization. You could do it in a plastic bottle, couldn't you? Pressurize and see if we can blow it up. That would be a great experiment. Can you do it in a plastic bottle? I wonder if those candies would do it. What like candies? Like the candies you stick in Coke and make them blow up. That'd be cool. Oh, the, um, those mint the rock, uh, mint, the, the Mentos? Yeah. Is it the Mentos? The Mentos challenge, yeah. But with kombucha. <laughs> <laughs> so you got another bottle? Why? Oh, yeah. I thought you said you wanted to do another one. Yeah. We have enough in there. Ah, you got my finger. You got my finger. Jeez. Here's the bottles I got. Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Really happy with these bottles. And I already washed them and sterilized them before doing this. Oh, that's all she wrote. Yeah, you got to move the thingy out of the way. You got to move the thingy out of the way. The SCOBY. You're a SCOBY. <laughs> You're being a jerk. This is what we do. <laughs> all day long. I think that's all we're going to get. Yeah, that's good. How much is in there? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's That would be good for someone to start a... A SCOBY Start would? their own SCOBY, yeah. Wow. So we're going to drink that? I ain't going to drink that. It looks like snot. It does look like snot. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace out. Don't forget to hit the like button. Comment. Please comment. We want to know what you guys think. Comment. Uh, subscribe. Care. Okay, Stuart doesn't care what you think. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.